We're gonna start like we always start with our basic ball control drill. So it's 10 forearm passes, 10 hand sets, 10 tomahawks, 10 pokies, being able to use both hands, 10 slaps, right? And then we're gonna go into our speed pepper. During the pass and set phase, we like everybody to imagine that they're setting. So we create a setting height and a setting footwork while we're passing here. Because the ball's not moving laterally, so we're not really in a serve-receive position, it's more of a free ball or a set motion. So we just use the setting footwork so we can dial it in. train the pokey with some height because yes we do have an attack pokey but we also have a defensive or a setting pokey something where we need somebody to be able to walk under the ball and hand set or when we go up high enough we want them to be able to take a four-step approach and maybe hit it so we have pokies in a lot of different situations and right now we're practicing control with some height Ball control warm up is speed pepper, so we're still trying to go like a pass set spike rhythm, but we're keeping it low and fast, training our defensive reactions and training our hurried ball control. Sometimes we get rushed and we still have to be under control and accurate, so that's why we practice a little bit of speed pepper. Base passing footwork, we're just gonna do a step shuffle to the right, a step shuffle to the left, right? Making sure that we're actually technical with our movement to the ball. So it's a light toss to the right, then a light toss to the left. Step shuffle, pass above the antenna, come back to center. Step shuffle, pass, right? Like base passing footwork. Then I'm going to have him toss two towards my forehead, lofted towards my forehead, where I get to this uncomfortable phase and I want to tomahawk. One of them we're gonna open up to the right with a drop step, and if we need to continue back, shuffle. So it's still a step shuffle, it's just a bigger drop step. So if he lost one towards my forehead, I open, and then I pass above the antenna. We do this because we have more range like this. Since we can't hand set and beach, we don't wanna end up having to do this and tomahawking the service. Same thing to the high left, step shuffle. And now I take it outside my left arm and get my right shoulder. Yeah. Last one is a short ball. And I'm going one, two, kick, and stand with the pass. It's really important to stand with the pass when we're passing a short ball, so we're not trying to go down and pass up at the same time. So he's going to face sideways towards the side of the court and toss a high short ball. One, two, and then I stand with the ball. Okay? That's all we got. So we got five passes. Shuffle to the left, shuffle to the right, open deep right, open deep left, short ball, and then switch. Go for it. Huh. Perfect footwork, so to kick off it again.
a time, right? There's a time when we don't open up sideways. Like if it's slow and easy, yeah, get behind it so you, so you don't have to rotate sideways. But when we're feeling that like uncomfortable speed at our head, like a high heavy float serve, then we're gonna try to get out of the way of the flat. But just remember that like if it's a slow, easy free ball, don't just take one step and open up. Get yourself behind it. <laughs> right now we're only gonna serve the left sides, okay? I can go high deep, I can go short. Your only focus really is making sure that you have that exact footwork. Right, so this whole time, just think about your feet so that we can be technical there. If I serve you short, you have to go on to everything else. You're just taking an approach and hitting to me. But I need to make sure that you guys are doing your full approach footwork. So pass, get to your point of hesitation. on the serve receive on the second the high line box on your side, on your side. yeah hence the high line then i'm gonna throw a, a scramble ball. free ball right once i throw that scramble free ball that second ball has to be hit in the front two thirds there's that sideline alley that i do in the front two thirds of a sideline there can be no arc to that ball or if we're not jumping high enough i'll deem something that's either flat enough all right so the uh, second ball has to be sharp sideline either sideline First ball has to be high line. If you get both, you get three points. If you get one, you get one point. Yeah, of course. Yeah, like any chop, anything with high downward or flat angle is fine. Okay. Because that in a, in a steep court, in the front two thirds of the court, that's gonna have the same effect as a as a hard hit. Like guys like like Trevor Crab, you know, they don't pound, but they hit sharp, steep angles so that you can't touch it. So it has the same effect as somebody who's hitting hard because it's getting to the ground quick and out of your reach.
Zero of the day. Score over here is zero. Score over there is five. We're playing a game of 15. It's going to be relentless, hard-driven cross balls. So every time a point finishes, a new person has to be contending over here. So everybody's going to get their first attack as a left side. Okay. Does that make sense? But the score is 5-0. Okay. Game to 15. It's going to go fast.